News hound guru Claire pretty soon the tsunami will overtake all those corrupt wicked leaders and we will witness it. Iraq will prosper without that evil, and getting rid of them at this time is very good for our investment and IT is very great for the Iraqi citizens. Emo we are at the end. Be patient a little longer, we are watching it play out. Kazemi and Sadr already won, remember. Sadr wants the reforms, new exchange rate, done for the citizens. Emo news hound guru bridling. People are looking at Iraq. They are looking at what's going on between the Sunni and the Shia. And they're going, my god there's chaos and turmoil going on. This thing is never going to come to fruition. It's never going to come about. You couldn't be more wrong. That's not how this investment works. That's not how Iraqi's currency works. The results of the foreign currency sale window, Monday, September 5, 2022 announcement number 4716, sale date. Sunday, Monday, September 5, 2022 The details The amount total sale for the purposes of strengthening Balances abroad Remittances Credits 159,863,441 Total cash sale 41,250,000 Total total Sales 201,113,441 Note that the selling price of the amounts transferred to bank accounts abroad is 1460 dinars per dollar. The cash sale price is 1460 dinars per dollar. Earth News, the economic expert, Manar al Obedi, revealed today, Sunday, the reasons for the increase in the central bank's sales of the dollar, while asking questions to several government agencies. Al Obedi said in a statement received by Earth News, in order to clarify the picture, it is necessary first to understand the mechanism of the foreign currency sale window. Noting that, most of Iraq's revenues are in US dollars, given that 92% of the Iraqi government's revenues are from oil sales, and the Iraqi government's expenses are mostly from the dinar, given that 90% of government expenses are operational expenses, salaries subsidies, other service expenses. Al Obedi added that, on the basis of these two rules, the government needs to sell the dollar and buy the dinar through the central bank, as the Ministry of Finance sold during this year to the central bank an amount of 33 billion US dollars to the central bank which has to provide local cash to cover the value of dollar purchases from the Ministry of Finance in order to cover the needs of the Iraqi government. He pointed out that, the sources of the dinar at the central bank are local bank deposits of Iraqi dinar depositing government institutions from the Iraqi dinar dollar sales to the local market through the foreign exchange window, which is the largest part issuing and printing additional cash and he indicated that, in the event that the first and second points are not sufficiently available to the central bank, the bank is forced either to increase dollar sales through the window to cover the dinar, or to print new cash to cover the need of the Iraqi government, explaining that, the central bank's sales of dollars through the currency sale window since the beginning of the year, it has reached nearly $28 billion, meaning that the difference is about $5 billion in favor of the central bank, in which the value of cash in dollars increased at the expense of the dinar. He explained that, the central bank is forced to increase its sales of dollars with the increasing demand for the local currency from the Ministry of Finance and in order not to increase its issuance of a new monetary mass that may lead to an increase in inflation as a result of the rise in the monetary mass. Al Obedi pointed out that, the question is not directed to the central bank exclusively about the reasons for the rise in dollar sales through the window, but rather the questions are directed to Ministry of Finance. What is the need for the increasing demand for the Dinar, which means an increase in the Iraqi government's expenditures in the absence of a budget? The Ministry of Commerce, 
it was noticed that the import licenses granted by you increased. And in light of them, the demand for buying dollars increased. Does Iraq actually need these imports, in light of which the licenses are granted? Ministry of Finance, General Customs Authority. With the increase in the value of remittances related to imports and the increase in import licenses granted by the Ministry of Commerce, no significant increase in the authorities. Revenues was observed despite these rises, which means that a large part of the imports enter through unofficial ways and not through your authority, which means that there is a shortcoming in control of ports and customs? The Ministry of Industry and Agriculture, the local product is still below the required level, which increases the country's need to import and deplete foreign currency. And cultivation? Anti-money laundering unit are the procedures for verifying funds transferred out of funds from the correct sources and all audit procedures correct according to international standards, or has Iraq become a fertile market for money laundering? Shafak News, the English newspaper, The National, considered that Iraq faces the possibility of more violence between the competing factions in light of the uncertainty surrounding the country's political future, especially if the outgoing Prime Minister Mustafa al-Kazemi implements his threat to step down. After referring to the atmosphere of conflict that has existed since the October 2021 elections, the clashes that took place last week and caused 30 deaths, and the Sadrist leader Muqtada al-Sadr's dissatisfaction with his inability to form a government, the Report translated by Shafak News Agency was transmitted. Omar al Nadawi, an analyst at the NGO Empowering Peace in Iraq, said that the situation was unpredictable. Al Nadawi added that the possibility of a new escalation is still high, because Mr. al Sadr is still troubled. And it is clear that he is far from retiring from politics, noting that al Sadr does not seem to have a vision of a feasible way out of this impasse. The report considered that the turning point in the impasse could be al Kazemi stepping down from his position, a possibility that had indicated the possibility of it occurring in the event of violence erupting again. The report quoted Iraqi political analyst Sajad Jihad as saying that it is possible that if the violence escalates, al Kazemi may feel that there is a lot of pressure, and he will resign, adding that if al Kazemi does so, the scene in which parliament has to elect may be avoided. The new president and government, Jihad pointed out that the current president, Baram Saleh, who also occupies his position temporarily after parliament failed to elect a new president, may nominate a new prime minister so that Iraq will have a caretaker and interim government. According to al-Nadawi, a possible resignation from al Kazemi will impose new pressures on al Sadr, explaining that in the event of his resignation, the coordination framework and the patriotic union of Kurdistan will make the situation largely in their favor. The report pointed out that in the Event of al Kazemi's resignation, the constitution stipulates that Baram Saleh must take over the duties of the prime minister and then appoint a candidate for this position within 15 days. But according to al Nadawi, in light of the existing difficult impasse and the possibility of not reaching a political agreement, Baram Saleh may remain in the position of prime minister for an indefinite period, and the coordination framework and the patriotic union of Kurdistan will not have a great incentive to make concessions to meet the conditions of al Sadr. he added that ignoring al Sadr on the part of the coordination framework will undoubtedly provoke a great reaction from al Sadr. Information, special. A member of the state of law coalition, Abbas al-Maliki, commented today. Sunday, on the decision to appeal the resignation of the Sadrist bloc's deputies to the federal court to return to the House of Representatives again, while stressing that these decisions will 
confuse the political reality and the Iraqi people. Al-Maliki said, in an interview with the information agency, that, this legal behavior of the Sadrist movement is correct and that they have submitted an appeal to the competent court with the aim of challenging their resignation. From a logical and mental point of view, I say that the withdrawal of the Sadrist movement was not a judicial, legal or political decision on the other hand, but it is it was a withdrawal of the bloc's will. He added, it is not permissible for the Sadrist bloc to challenge a decision that it took, and no one forced it, noting that, such behavior will lead to more confusion in the Iraqi political and social reality and disregard the Iraqi political, legal and judicial norms. A member of al-Maliki's coalition explained that, political action must be solid in based on the foundations of moderation, logicality and balance, and so behaviors that seem far from logic and balance, pointing out that, political blocs must determine their options from the beginning, or it leaves politics and plays a new role. Al-Maliki continued, as for political action and others outside it, what is the fault of the Iraqi street to bear such decisions, actions, and confusing steps? The legal expert, Mohsen al-Ugaili, had confirmed earlier today, that from a legal point of view, the resignation does not need a vote, and it is likely that the federal court will dismiss the case when it looks at it from a legal point of view. Dunn, 25 SR. Former Republican U.S. President Donald Trump described his successor, Democrat Joe Biden, as an enemy of the state, in front of his supporters who gathered at a campaign rally Saturday evening in Pennsylvania. Speaking about Biden in front of the crowd, Trump said, he is the enemy of the state, in response to a fierce attack launched against him by Biden, who confirmed two days ago that the former Republican president represents extremism that threatens the foundations of our republic. Trump criticized the FBI raid last month of his Florida home. In his first public appearance since that raid, Trump said the research was a perversion of justice. He warned that it would result in a violent backlash that no one has ever seen before. There could be no more vivid example of real threats to American freedom than there was just a few weeks ago, when we witnessed one of the most appalling abuses of power by any administration in American history, Trump said. Trump also responded to Biden's speech this week, in which the president said he and his Republican supporters, represent an extremism that threatens the foundations of our republic. Trump told his supporters that Biden delivered the most vicious, hateful and divisive speech ever delivered by an American president. He is an enemy of the state, Trump said. It's not the Republicans in the MAGA movement who are trying to undermine our democracy, he continued, referring to his Make America Great Again movement. Shafak News, a judicial source said on Sunday that the federal Supreme Court will consider an appeal against the validity of the dismissal of the Sadrist bloc deputies at the end of this September. The source told Shafak News Agency that the federal Supreme Court received a suit to challenge the acceptance of the resignations of the Sadrist bloc's deputies by the presidency of the House of Representatives, No. 181, Federal, 2022. The source added, the federal court set the date for the first session to consider the case on September 28. On June 13, al Sadr directed deputies of the Sadrist bloc in the Iraqi parliament to hand over their resignations to the Speaker of the Parliament, Mohammed al-Halbusi, while he thanked his allies in the Save the Homeland coalition and told them that they are in a solution. Parliament Speaker Mohammed al-Halbusi signed the resignations of the Sadrist bloc's deputies, in the presence of the parliamentary bloc's leader, Hassan al-Adhari, and then commented, their resignations took 
place reluctantly, referring to efforts made to dissuade al Sadr from this step. The political impasse worsened after the resignation of Sadr's representatives, who demanded the dissolution of the Iraqi parliament and the holding of early elections. Tensions escalated sharply on Monday, August 29, when Sadr loyalists stormed the government palace inside the fortified Green Zone after their leader announced his retirement from politics. Shafak News, a close associate of Parliament Speaker, Mohammed al Halbousi, revealed new details about the initiative put forward by the latter, related to the national dialogue sessions to resolve the political crisis. Al Makrib told Shafak News Agency, the political initiative put forward by al Halbousi came in the consensus between the Sovereignty Alliance, the Sadrist movement and the Kurdistan Democratic Party, noting that, this initiative is supported by these three parties. The source also indicated that, communication between the parties to the Save a Homeland, coalition is still ongoing, and there are many steps that come in coordination. Between these three parties, the latest of which is the initiative announced by al Halbousi, which will be supported by Prime Minister Mustafa al Kazemi, the sponsor of the National Dialogue sessions. Earlier this morning, Parliament Speaker Mohammed al Halbousi stressed the need to agree on a number of matters before proceeding with holding the next National Dialogue sessions most notably setting a date for early elections in the country. al Halbousi said in a tweet to him, on the social networking sites, Twitter, the agenda of the upcoming national dialogue. Sessions must include a number of things that the political process cannot proceed without agreement on them. Setting a date for the early parliamentary elections and the provincial elections at a maximum date the end of next year, and the election of the President of the Republic, the selection of a government with full authority, agreed upon and trusted and reassured by the people and their political forces. Among the issues raised by al Halbousi is the reinterpretation of Article 76 of the Constitution, the abolition of the shameful circumvention in the manipulation of the provision of this article, which occurred under political pressure after the 2010 elections, adding the adoption of the federal general budget law, proposing at the same time to maintain or amend the parliament elections law, as well as legislating a law federal supreme court and according to Article 92 of the Constitution. The Speaker of the House of Representatives also referred 